Salisha and today we are off to Goulburn Dressage. It is a chilly morning, winter is definitely fast approaching here in Australia. Um, I will be doing a prelim and two novices and this will probably be the second last comp where we're doing a prelim. I think I'm going to make the move for barrel dressage and move up to elementary, probably just do one elementary. Um, I am tempted to chuck her in both, but why are my lips blue? <laughs> anyway, um, I am tempted to chuck her in both, but I haven't really made the decision. I'll probably end up playing it safe and just do the easy elementary and then the two novices, but we'll see. Anyway, it's cold. Bambi has just had her breakfast. She's in the stable and I'm going to go get her now. Oh, I can't feel my toes. <sighs> Honestly, I can't really feel my fingers either. <laughs> oh my God, it is so cold. So, oh my freaking God. <laughs> Baby, are you cold? She says no because I got the rugs. <laughs> I'm fairly warm. Hello. I am running a wee bit behind schedule. I would not say I'm late, but I'm supposed to be leaving in two minutes. <laughs> so, oh, I'm going to take Bambi's top rug off, and she's got what's called a dust. Are oh, you laying too? She's got a dust buster rug on the very bottom from Horseware, which. Oh, I'm so cold. How is it not winter yet? Um, yes, which will keep, like, especially really good for their coats. I, it's actually the first time I've used it. But um, she's got that on, and then she's got her show light sheet on. And I'm going to leave those two on to float because... Because it's quite chilly. And both rugs are fairly thin, so she's got her more rug on, um, and that's the dustbuster rug. Okay, let's go, Bambi. So it's an hour drive for us. We haven't actually done this competition before either. We sold our old float as well. Finally, that got picked up last week, so that was nice. Okay. If you guys can come along with the journey of putting baby on the float, you guys will remember that she went through a stage where she wouldn't get on the float. And that has very much changed. Beautiful girl. Beep, 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 beep. Now, she normally poos, and I really want to catch her as she poos. Anyway, she may not. <laughs> we are here. It is still cold and very foggy. <laughs> yes, yeah, so now it's counting, so you can stop it. See, it's got the counter. Where is she? Okay, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of my warm-up with Mum trying to figure out how to work my camera. <laughs> now, um... Also, just ignore this first part of the test. I cut out the very start as mum kind of got the hang of the camera. But don't worry, she quickly gets into the groove of things. So this was our first test of the day and it was the prelim 1B. So overall, she was a little bit tense at times. Um, I mean, that's just me being picky in all honesty. She did a really, really nice test. Um, I did give her a fairly decent warm up just because I've felt the last few comps she's gotten better each and every test, meaning the first test has not felt great because I just felt like she needed a longer warm up. So that's what I did um, for this comp and it definitely paid off. I gave her about a 20 minute warm up, 20 minutes to half an hour with like 10 minutes of that walking. Um, a lot of walking. I also gave her a light lunge as she was quite on edge with everything going on around the vicinity um, as the trotters are just over that fence you see beyond that um, and she was very wary of them but she, it ended up being a really really lovely little test. Um, I was quite happy with it to be honest. 
not too much to complain about, um, just little things to work on, specifically our halt and just getting her a bit more through in the canter at times. Um, I mean, this is only a prelim, so it's not like her canter has to be very adjustable. There's no lengthens or anything like that in it. All her transitions I was very happy with. Um, and then here we come for the long rain trot. She is getting better with these at outings, slowly starting to stretch more. She did lose it at the end there, but in the next two tests, she does get better with it. And then we go back to working trot, then to a medium walk, and we tripped there. I actually, she trod on the log, that's why she tripped there. So her medium walk, it is improving. She naturally has an amazing walk. It's always the comments I get. It's just getting that consistency with the head. As you can see, she's just still moving it around quite a bit, especially in the medium walk. In the long rain walk, she's a lot better. As you can see, she kind of just pulls the reins out of my hands and just struts. <laughs> she does these really nicely now and they definitely score higher than her medium walks do most of the time, just purely because of the consistency with her head in the medium walks. Um, back to her medium walk here, this one's a bit better. Her head's a bit more still. It's just baby moments, like just still getting the strength to hold herself correctly the whole time. So back to working trot. We're about to do a 20 meter circle. Very consistent, very happy. Um, she's just floating across the ground. A little bit of inconsistency with the head there, but this is just me being very, very, very picky. Um, she kind of loses, like brings her shoulders in a little bit there. And then we go around the short side, then across the diagonal. But she's come a long way with her carriage. Um, it was something that used to be very inconsistent, especially in the trot. And she has quickly improved and her trot is probably now her strongest gait, which was not the case when we started. Um, it's very, very consistent now. And I'm very proud of how far she's come with her head carriage especially because she used to just like to hold it really high and um, not work through her back properly, which she now always works properly and always rounds her back, which is really nice. Canter, 20 meter circle, her pole could be a little bit lower. Um, then downward transition to trot, her downwards transitions were phenomenal this day. Then up the center line. Sorry, don't check your phone. That was my phone <laughs> um, for a final salute and halt. So we won this test with 68.447%. Win a win a chicken dinner. <laughs> Second test was the novice 2A. Terrible first halt. Terrible. Coming in and the actual halt itself. <sighs> I do have a talk throughs of all three tests at the very end and... Um, I go through the score sheets and what the judges comments were um, yeah <laughs> not the best start to the test to be honest she does kind of get into the flow of things a bit and that wasn't too bad it didn't feel like that <laughs> oh this is the 2a I was thinking it was the 2b my mistake. I was like, wait, I thought that was a bit unbalanced, but no, it was the 2B, so I'm, I'm confused. Anyway, back to this test, Talisha. Um, and then we have another little half 10 meter circle here. She comes a little bit up in the pole there. Then back across. And then we come up here for a dodgy canter transition, I believe. At least the judge thought so. Kidding. We're not cantering yet. Gosh, I should just stop, shouldn't I? Long rain trot. I'm really getting my tests confused. Thank God I don't do this when I'm in the arena. Um, yeah, a little bit of stretch shown. Not great. Back to working trot. Lengthen across the diagonal. There we go. I'm back to it. I wasn't very happy with her trot lengthens this day, to be honest. She has so much more in her. As one of my coaches always says, Talisha, you're sitting on a Ferrari. You are sitting on a Ferrari. She's got more in her than that. And I could hear them in my head telling me, Talisha, that's that's not her length. And what are you doing? You are sitting on a Ferrari and you are riding her like a Mazda. <laughs> One of my coaches seriously tells me that. She is a Ferrari. 
ri- drive her like she's a Ferrari. <laughs> anyway, long rain walk. Um, yeah, not too great. Better in the first test. I don't know. I just wasn't very happy with this, to be honest. I probably should have shortened my reins a bit and just hadn't forgiven the long rain a bit and gone for a bit of the contact and yeah um yeah more contact rather than the long rain itself um here we come for a counter transition now I believe this is a dodgy yeah dodgy transition we got a five and a half for that off to a lengthened canner thank god she can lengthen her canner really well <laughs> still has a lot more in her I play it very safe but she comes back to me so easily so I really need to start risking it a little bit more. They scored very, very well, but the fact is she has a lot more in the tank and I play it very, very safe because I like to go for an accurate test rather than a like have mistakes if I go all out. But it's getting to the stage where she, I can trust her that she's not going to just not come back to me. So I need to start asking a bit more, especially in the trots. Um, her length and can has come to her a lot easier. Uh, yeah, still not great transition. Go for another length and canter. Here's our flying changes. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I talk about them at the end of the test. She just did two flying changes, but the ju judge did not notice them. That's how quick and clean they were. Well done, Bambi. Well done. At least you covered it up well. <laughs> Pretty funny. Um, back to trot. Now we have our final length and this length and was a bit lot better than the first one. Um, fortunately you can't see it that well because it's the wrong kind of angle for it. But yes, we did win this test yet again. Um, I believe the score was a little bit, it was over 64% and yeah, we won. Um, but I go over all the tests in the judges' comments at the very end. Overall, I wasn't too happy with this test, though. Like, I wasn't angry, but I wasn't like, that was a good test, you know? The first test of the day was definitely the best one. Um, and the score reflected that, clearly. But these both the novices, I, I knew she could do a lot better. There just wasn't... Neither of them were anywhere near her best. So here we have the novice 2B. Um... This was probably the one I was least impressed with, which is funny because normally it goes the other way. It's the first test that I'm least impressed with, but I just, um, in no way was it terrible or anything. We do have one dodgy moment. And there's our first length and not the best angle to see it, obviously. Then we come up the center line. <laughs> Very deep sand down the end there. Bambi was not a big fan of it, hence the exaggerated kind of jump. Here we have our first leg yield. Um, not her best leg yields that she could do. She does have a lot more cross in her, but hey, she made it to the markers and that's all that matters. Then we go across the diagonal for our second length and trot. And I think this one was pretty nice. Yeah, that was better. Still kind of lost it at the end there. Um, has a lot more in her, a lot more in her. And then we come up for our second leg yield. The good thing about her leg yield is she is keeping very straight in the body. This one was a lot better. She does have a bit of a habit to tend, like to tilt her head a bit, which you can see her doing slightly at times, but she's got a lot better with that. And she keeps herself very, very straight, um, which is very important in a leg yield. You want no bend in a leg yield. You want it straight. It is not a half pass. Half pass, you want the bend. Um, leg yield, you want a very, very straight body. Uh, you don't want them leading with the hindquarters or the shoulders or the, anything. That medium walk was really nice. I was happy with that. You can't see this long rain walk, unfortunately. Um, it felt good. I mean, one judge gave it an eight. So one judge really liked it. The other one gave it a six. <laughs> can't tell you what it looks like because I can't see it. Back to a medium walk. Um, and then here we have the kerfuffle. So we trot. This is where the sand was really deep. And I do believe this happened because of the deep sand. I asked for a canter. We got a disunited canter. I tried to bring her back and then she did this <laughs> and then she struck off again on the incorrect leg and then I fixed it. We're fine. Very, very unfortunate, which affected two marks in the test from one judge and only one in the other one.
but still got two four and a halves from one judge and a four from the other judge. Who knows how we still won this test? Honestly, I don't know. Um, cause that was a very costly mistake, but we still won. Um, here we go across the diagonal for our downwards transition. Very nice. Um, I love her downward transitions into trot. They just float. And then back around for another canter. Um, and I kind of lost my bearings here. I was about to go to the other marker, then quickly turned and realized, nope, I'm supposed to turn here. Um, and I ended up doing a little bit under a 15 meter circle. I probably did about a 12 or a 13 metre circle, um, which was a bit unfortunate. There wasn't too much length in this canter here. Um, there wasn't much of a difference going from her length into her working. And that was because, honestly, my whole... I was very scattered. Like, I, that put me off for the rest of the test, that unfortunate canter strike off. Um, then we have our long rain 20 metre circle, which, again, I rode very inaccurately. But she stretched down somewhat nicely. But I rode that horribly inaccurately. Um, back to working trot. And yeah, I don't know how we still won this test, to be honest. I was not expecting that whatsoever, especially because there was like 12 or 13 people in it. But I guess the rest of the test made up for the dodgy moments, which was good to see. Um, good halt. It was good. All tests are done. We're just waiting for our final results from the last two tests, but... In the 1B, she won with 68%. Now she's tired and she's going to have a snooze. Hosed her down just where the saddle sat. And now we're going to go get our results. Sorry that I didn't vlog too much today. Honestly, I have no real reason. I was just... I just didn't vlog. Anyway, you obviously already know how I went in the first test. Three from three. So, let's go over the score sheets though. Oh, nearly lost one. Okay. So yes, yeah, so we won all three tests, which was very surprising. Uh, obviously I did the talk for it of my tests. So yeah, um, I'm very, anyway, let's just get into it. So first test of the day was the 1B. Um, it's an official one as well. So to get 68.3, 393 was very very good um very happy with that so that's obviously i'm an amateur i ride as an as an amateur because i am not a professional rider obviously and i'm no longer a young rider so i ride as an amateur so a qualifying score for state for an amateur is 65 percent and for a profession and for a professional it's 68 percent so we qualified <laughs> as an open slash professional so we've got a open level qualifying score um we have got 68 percent oh I, we actually got 68 percent last time last comp but it was not an official so that's why this is a little bit cooler and i think that was for a novice too last time anyway halts are still getting their six and a half it's still the thing that's letting us down for every test they are getting better and we are working on them a lot they're coming in straight at least most of the time now it's just kind of making them square um so we go from a six and a half straight to a seven then to an eight <laughs> um yeah Oof. so another eight seven six 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 and a half six and a half seven 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 and a six and a half for our final halt anyway paces she got an eight impulsion she got a seven submission which is always the thing that scores a little lower because she is young and she's just still you know Still got a long way to go. For my position and seat, I got a seven. So, horse has huge free flowing paces and shows good potential. So yeah, that's a nice comment. And then for submission, I got the comment saying, try to develop more lateral suppleness. Would like to see the horse bend more around inside leg, which was something I struggled with a bit today. I was really trying in the work warm up to get her bending and flexing around my leg, but she was just a bit distracted. We had the trotters, like the um, paces, the race horses, going past right next to us, which she was not a fan of. And then we had greyhound racing on the other side. She was beautiful considering, but like we just, she was a bit tense at times. I'm very proud of how well she behaved considering, but you know, just some tense moments, but 
anyway and then for me I got well done <laughs> so not heaps of comments but um you know good and then we'll go to the 2a which was the second test so this was the test that you would have seen it's hard to see in the video but she did two clean flying changes one after another hmm and so I did put spurs on her for the last two tests because one of my coaches has actually been saying that she thinks I should start riding her in spurs um, and I figured and she was just and I felt like she wasn't quite on my aids in the first test, so I put spurs on. She Before I bought her, she was always ridden in spurs, so I was not like she had never been ridden in spurs, so I just chucked them on her. And when I first got her, I did ride her in spurs, but then I didn't need them. But now, especially as we are starting the medium stuff, one of my coaches was just saying she thinks it will be beneficial as she can get a bit behind my aids at times. And I just felt her a little bit behind me, which is not normally the case at comps, but I gave her a pretty big warm up because she was so worried um, with everything going on. So I did put spurs on for this test. And I think that may have um, been part of the reason she did the changes. Like maybe my outside leg came on slightly and cause she is very sensitive to the way my position and my legs change. So if I do make any change, she does you know, she's very, very sensitive in that way. Um, and so I don't know if I slightly touched her with the spur because I'm, I'm very good with spurs and you will notice if you watch the videos with me riding in them, I, it's not like they're on 24 seven. I know how to keep my leg off her. And a lot of the time when I am asking her to go forward, I am not using the spurs, I'm using my lower leg. Um, anyway, so I don't know if it slightly brushed her and she just, I, I don't really know what happened, but anyway, the judge did not see it. There's a Charlie. The judge did not notice it. <laughs> and I walked out and I was like, that's a shame because like I was pretty happy with the test. Anyway, judge didn't notice. And I can tell because of what she scored me <laughs> from that area. So I got a 64.643% and this judge, I'm not going to say her name, but um, it is a judge who is known in the area to be very, very, very strict and very, very harsh. And apparently it's either one way or another with this judge. A lot of people are scared of being judged by this lady, like terrified because she is so harsh. Yeah, so she's a very, very strict judge. So to get 60, just under 65% from her, I was pretty happy because I'd never competed under her before. And honestly, I was terrified from what I'd heard from my friends. <laughs> anyway, the halt let us down on, of course, five and a half. So she was harsh when she needed to be. So yeah, it didn't feel that bad to be honest, but she was harsh this judge when she needed to be but then we go into a seven six and a half six and a half seven um and then we got a five and a half for our left lead transition into canter apparently she came above the bit i didn't notice that at the time to be honest but she says she did seven seven eight and the seven and then the eight is where she did the flying changes <laughs> So she definitely didn't notice. <laughs> That's how quick they were though. And it's a shame that the video wasn't at a slightly different angle because then you could have seen them clearer because they were so quick and she didn't change. Like she didn't jump into them. She didn't do anything. Keep in mind, this horse hasn't even started, like we haven't even started training changes. And she just did two clean ones. Like, okay, we're two levels under that at the moment, but cool, <laughs> good to know. Good to know she can do changes. Should not be too difficult to teach in the future, probably, because she has lately shown me a couple of times that she can do clean changes under saddle. Anyway, so the seven and then the eight was where she did it. <laughs> no comments, unfortunately, just seven and eight, but she obviously didn't notice. And then six and a half, six and a half, seven, and we got a six and a half for the last halt. So that was, that was something. Um, and then for paces, she got a seven, impulsion, seven, submission, six. And then I got a six and a half. So very nice, m more showing, very nice mover, showing freedom of paces. And then she said, needs soften over the pole, I think. 64.643%. Um, <laughs> now, final test is the one I walked out of very disappointed um, because after our kerfuffle with the canter um, I did not ride very accurately I was not happy 
um, especially being another official, so the scores matter. Um, score was not great. However, obviously, the... Um, but that was because of one judge in particular. Because from one judge, I got a 60%. 60.441 and the second judge I got 65% so yeah so my total percentage came to 62.721 which is the lowest test I which is the lowest score I've ever gotten on Bambi um, by a decent amount I normally average at about 65% so was a bit of a shame but I still won this test so obviously the first judge in particular because obviously the second judge gave me 65 but the first judge in particular was harsh on everyone because I think there was 12 in that test, so, um, for, yeah, anyway, the first judge goes six, seven, six and a half, seven and a half, uh, then when we got onto our dodgy canter, which you obviously would have seen, she put that into two movements, so I got two four and a halves for that moment which was obviously jumped together in can to strike off incorrect canter lead but corrected and then it goes into six and a half then the second one five and a half for the first halt unfortunately where the harsher judge gave me six and a half but anyway seven six and a half seven 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 um six and a half eight then we go to four for the um wrong canter well as she said disunited wrong lead corrected so yeah she went disunited but it was, I, I believe it was the sand there and then though from the four she goes straight to a seven where the last judge gave me four and a half and then four and a half again for that canter circle which is a real shame because obviously it was it was right at the start where i fixed it but then the rest of the canter circle was fine so this judge gave me a seven for the canter circle and then she also got an eight from this judge for her free walk and i found this quite fascinating so this judge gave me an eight for her free walk the other one gave me a six um and then a horse mostly obedient but losing rhythm at times well ridden so yeah but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed that video um i'm supposed to be at hawkesbury dressage next weekend um depending if i get in there was a lot of entries and i'm reserve i'm second reserve on one test and i don't feel like driving two hours to just do one test so if i don't get into that second test i won't be going but the week after that is barrel dressage which i will definitely be doing so yeah it's a big two months for bambi and i and i'm so excited for what's to come so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next week bye